Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and I want to talk about a series of satellites that are fun to monitor and uh, explain how it actually works to listen to these satellites. A lot of people don't totally understand exactly how this works. So we're going to talk about that and it's the XW series of satellites. So I'll share the list here. This is the website that I go to all the time for frequencies. It is updated all the time. So here, the last update is September 6th. So down the list, you have all the amateur satellites. And if you go to the XW section, and let's just find XW uh, satellites here, XW, here we go. So XW 2A, B, C, D, E, and F, also known as uh, CAS 3A, 3B, 3C, 3D, 3E, and 3F. They're the same satellites. So these satellites uh, are all right now in yellow here. So that means that they are technically uh, working and have been monitored. So um, I've seen a couple that seem to have some maybe be defective, but um, some of them actually do work well. How does it work? How do you tune in these satellites? So you'll need a single sideband capable receiver, first of all, in the VHF range. What are all these numbers and what do you have to listen to? Okay, so the first set of frequencies on the left side here, this is the uplink. This, if you're just listening, is not important for you. If you're an amateur radio operator, this is the frequency range that you are going to transmit to the satellite. And this has what we call a linear transponder. It downlink or the frequencies you got to tune to hear who's transmitting here is on the VHF range here. That's the second set of frequencies. And the third one is the beacons. Uh, there's some digital beacon and there's some CW or Morse code beacon. That's why there's two frequencies. And here it says GMSK for the first frequency and CW for the second frequency. The way it works and the way I actually tune is first of all, I'll try to listen to the beacon frequency. The beacon is um, a Morse code signal. So when you start hearing the beacon, then you know that the satellite's in range, you know that you can actually hear it. So you'll be using those frequencies on the VHF range afterwards to listen to voice. Remember that this is the center frequency and that satellites have Doppler shift. That means when the satellite first appears in the sky above your head, it will be higher in frequency than this frequency here. So for example, if you're listening to 145660, well, when it starts to get audible here, over your head, it might be at 145.665, 666, 664. It will be a few kilohertz higher. And if you tune, you'll notice that the tone constantly changes. That's because the frequency is shifting and it's because of the speed of the satellite. So what you want to do is not listen to 145660, but anywhere from 145 655 to 145665. That 10 kilohertz of frequency is where the Doppler shift will be. As it gets over your head, at some point it'll be on 145660. And then as it moves away, it will go lower than that. So you got to tune 5 kilohertz below and above to see it. On a SDR, it's fun because you have the visual of the Morse code on the display, so you know where it is. There's also some software that you can use that will actually make the uh, your radio could be controlling your radio, for example, and that will make sure that your radio is always tuned and always following the Doppler shift automatically. Once you hear the beacon, now the other frequencies that are of interest are the VHF downlink frequencies. So to take the example of the XW2A, where the beacon's at 145660. Once you hear the beacon, then start tuning around 145665 to 145685 plus or minus 
the Doppler shift, of course. But in there, you should hear single sideband or upper sideband voices. Now, these satellites are not always active, especially midday. Sometimes there's not a lot of activity. Uh, if you hear them at night, there are more chances in the evening to hear activity because more people at home. Uh, but this is a lot of fun to tune. So you tune around constantly from 145.665 to 145.685. And by tuning around all the time, at some point you will hear some voices and some people calling CQ. So the same goes for all the other ones here. If you see that, uh, for example, XW2D is coming for a pass, then tune its beacon, 145885, plus or minus 5 kilohertz, like I said. And once you hear the beacon, then go into 145860 to, or 145880. Scan through that 20 kilohertz. You will hear upper sideband voices at some point on some frequencies. Remember, the voices also have Doppler shift. Everything that's transmitted off the satellite actually has that Doppler shift. But that's how it works. And that's how you'll listen to XW satellites. And these are fun to listen to. I will try to get a few of them today and post the results. But listening to voices rather than beep beeps and Morse code is, of course, a lot of fun. And these are amateur radio operators, so it's kind of fun to see from where you're actually receiving as the, um, the 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 ground plane, the, the distance on the ground where you can actually make contact could be quite big. So it's uh, really, really a lot of fun to try to see where these amateur radio operators are. So I'll try to listen to a few of them today on, and give an example uh, with my uh, SDR. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.